Good morning and thank you for tuning in to the live Me too. Five show where we are living life. Playing table tennis without arms must be impossible, right? Burhim Hamad sure thinks otherwise. The NBA finals just started Ivan. last night. And is there still some gym do? China, ooh, China and the United States are discussing an underwater train that connects Alaska to Russia. Movie star Elle Fanning star in the much anticipated movie Maleficent. I have so much more coming up shortly. I love Maleficent. OMG, I have the power! Hi, can I see your yearbook? Sure. Buck homie, can I see your yearbook? Sir, sure, homie. Hey, can I see that? Wow. I got the power! Welcome back. Now it's time for the test ball play by play. All textbooks are due and there will be a one dollar fine for every book every book each day. Also students on the non activity list will be unable to purchase ticket for the end of the year activity. Ticket. Promotion is on its way, graders. Are you interested in giving a promotion speech or sharing your musical talent during the ceremony? Do you have inspiring words or an inspirational song to share with the promoting class of 2014? If so, please have a speech or song prepared to present on Tuesday, June 10th, after school, in the conference room. The top two speeches and the top musical talent will be chosen and notified next Wednesday on the list. The lotion basket remains unclaimed. Its winning ticket number is 903-271. That's 903-271. If you have the winning ticket, take it to room 205 or find Mr. Porter to claim your prize. You must have the ticket to take the prize. Test Off Accelerated Learning Academy is presenting its first ever musical production, Aladdin. This musical stars Jackie Dixon as Jafar, Allison Tang as Jeannie, Alina Doss as Princess Jasmine, and yours truly as Aladdin. The hour-long production will be shown on one day only, Friday, June 13th, with showings at 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. Tickets are $5 and help and help band to cover the production costs of the musical. They can be they can be purchased beginning Tuesday, June 3rd until Thursday, June 12th from Mr. Gola in room 200 or any student, including me, in Glee Choir while seating is available. If there is still extra seating available, tickets will be sold at the door for $5 as well. You don't want to miss this exciting event where you'll support your friends and where you'll support your friends while enjoying an evening out. <laughs> it's almost time for our last week of segments. Let's see what useless talent Asher has for us to watch. Good morning, Ted Block. This is Asher with Friday's Useless Talent. Today we have a man who can eat glass and metal. Do not try this at home. Eating glass could cut open the stomach, intestines, and the throat as it passes through the body. Does this not cut your mouth? Does the glass not cut your mouth? No blood. <laughs> Salim's really taking it to the next level now. Did you know in the 1850s, glass bottles were mainly used to hold whiskey? See you next week for another useless talent. That, that is it for the soft play by play. We'll be right back after the break. <sighs> this is boring. I wonder if there's anything else for me to do. Oh wow, what's this? Oh wow, it'll be your book. I remember these kids. Back to Instagram. I just wanna be. 
Yo. Oh. A US Marine jet crashed into two homes in Imperial, California. This occurred on Thursday, June 5th. A Marine Harrier AV-8B was flying over the Imperial City right. when it suddenly went into a nosedive. Fortunately, the pilot and the people on the ground were not hurt. Parts of the plane landed on a roof of a house and destroyed and destroyed it. Marine Lieutenant Colonel Corner. John Ferguson says, quote, the subsequent explosion and fire destroyed second house, a second house badly and damaged another, end quote. The U.S. Marines are still investigating the incident. Playing table tennis without arms must be impossible, right? If, if Ibrahim Hamadato sure thinks otherwise. This 41-year-old from Egypt lost both of his arms in a deadly train accident when he was only 10. However, he didn't allow that to stop him from going after his dream. Ibrahim has been practicing his unique technique ever since he was 13 years old. 28 years later, the armless Egyptian has garnered has garnered many awards and accolades in the world of table tennis. Hamadato still plays today and acting as an image of hope to other disabled people. China and the United Nations are discussing an underwater train that connects Alaska to Russia. This train will not only be helpful to these countries, but also to Canada, I love Canada, and other countries. The underwater trans construction will take place in the English Channel between Russia and Alaska. In order for this train to be built, the Chinese and the U.S. will have to borrow, will have to burrow through the ground right under where the shallowest part of the water is. This creation will consist of one train going there, one heading back, and another one in the middle just in case of emergencies. The total cost of this project will be approximately $35 million and take about 20 years. Thank you, Janaya. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on in the world of entertainment with Alyssa. Good morning, Alyssa. I mean, he is a... Hi, Isabel here. Movie star Ellie Fanning starred in in the much anticipated movie Maleficent. In the movie, she plays Sleeping Beauty, a classical Disney princess. What if Fanning was actually royalty? Well, it turns out she is. According to Ancestry.com, Ellie is a descendant of the royal family. She is the cousin of Duchess Kate Middleton, so Ellie role, Ellie's role turned out to be reality. Let's see what's going on in the world of weather. Good morning, Jorge. Good morning, Isabel. All right, thank God I got that done. All right, let's get to your forecast. We have 70 in Los Angeles, nice and cool. We have 108 in Phoenix, yikes. I'm getting hot just talking about it. We have 106 in El Paso, 96 Lubbock, 84 Oklahoma City, 85 Kansas, and 85 in what? Memphis, sorry. And for the rest of the nation, we have 80 degrees in Washington, 76 in Norfolk, and 79 in New York. Time now for your five-day forecast. Today we have 76 degrees with partial clouds, tomorrow 79 degrees, mostly sunny. Sunday will be rising to 85 degrees with partial clouds, then slowly cooling to, mon to a nice 81 degrees on Monday with partial clouds. And Tuesday will be 77 degrees with partial clouds. Time now for Web Hole with Dylan. Good morning, Dylan. Hi, thank you, Jorge. Now today we have Eric with us. Good morning. <laughs> um, now this week we challenge you with the question, should we have two trucks? Here's what you said. Yes. Yes, we should have food trucks during lunch. No. Absolutely, especially on Fridays. Yes, they should. In and out because it's very bomb. A taco food truck. Uh, real them all. I would order salumpia, some pancit. Barbecue. I would order a cheeseburger because I love cheeseburgers. Tacos. It would be more nutritious for the students to have a better lunch. At Honestly, I think that the students would probably just enjoy having a little bit of variety sometimes. Everyone has a variety of choices. There's issues with them being on campus. Because like Tesla 40 has food and everything, why do they need to spend more money on buying food trucks? that everyone would be crowding. Cost the school money. It would take profits away from the cafeteria. All right, now here there's also week's poll. 72% of you said yes, they wanted food trucks. 8% of you said no, and 20% of you said they didn't care. 
Now we want to hear from you. Be sure to do, oh, never mind. <laughs> Here, here's our new question. Should energy drinks be allowed on campus? We want to hear from you. Be sure to visit us online at Line 5 Show to vote. Send your comments to what poll at line 5 showcom And if it's good, we'll read it on air. So Eric, do you think we should have energy drinks on campus? Uh, yeah, because it'll be good for people that don't eat lunch. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Now here's Johnny with sports. Thank you, Dylan. In basketball, San Antonio beats Miami 110-95. San Antonio leads series 1-0. In baseball, Giants beat Reds 6-1. Yankees beat Athletics 2-1. Astros beat Angels 8-5. And Nationals beat Phillies 4-2. On June 3rd in soccer, Mexico was defeated against Bozina Hedges Govina 1-0. Javier Hernandez, better known as Chicharito, sorry, had a great chance to score on the 20th minute when Miguel Layun kicked the ball over the top and Chicharito was able to take it down. But from 12 yards, he missed when the ball hit the post and went out. Just before halftime, Bozina scored when Itzel Hajevic received a corner from Sehad Salvejolik, sorry, in the second half. Mexico had another chance to score when the 86th minute when Maza Rodriguez was so it making the goal, but missed when it the goalie from Bozina came out. It was a big upset when Mexico lost to Bozina Jerez Govina. Tonight in soccer, Mexico will play against Portugal for their last warm-up game for the World Cup. They will be playing on Friday at the Gillette Stadium in Massachusetts. Mexico has a pretty good chance of winning because Crystal, Cristino Ronaldo is unlikely to play game due to injury. Portugal might have the game favorites of the game, but based on the performance of Mexico's game, it, it might be up in a draw. That's it on sports. Time now for the Daily 401 Challenge with Dylan. Thank you, J J not, wait, no, that's Johnny, never mind. Thank you, Johnny. When was Starbucks founded? 1971, 1983, 1993, or 2006? Take five. I love Starbucks. It's just fantastic. It really is. 1971 is when Starbucks was founded. After fighting for our country in Afghanistan, his wife and son target. His his son thought he was throwing to somebody on the team, but little did he know that it was really his dad. He was overjoyed to reunite with his dad, and this will be a baseball game that he will never forget. That was up the show for today. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Live 5 Show. We'll catch you back here on Monday.